I guess there must be self-help stuff because I just got a message saying back up recordings regularly as opposed as opposed to irregularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wheels on carpet don't work. Not very well. And my sunglasses that I've had since December of 2013, the ones I got after my last cataract surgery, are gone. I don't know what happened to them. I left them somewhere. So, I had to buy new ones. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. I'm not planning on doing another rock and roll video with sunglasses or any video um but talking about videos the video for song to the moon has been up since last tuesday it's now tuesday the following tuesday it's gotten 12,621 views so mucho gracias to those who have viewed and tuned in now, the real supernaturally strange part of it all is that in the first 23 hours, it got 9,533 of those views. I had, I was like, what? It was very strange. I have no explanation for it. Uh, according to, uh, well, when analytics finally did pop up, it, it, it was um, predominantly from, from the United States, a good chunk of them, but also Brazil and other countries, which typically chime in, uh, uh, contributed. It wasn't Asia like usual, like Asia... Usually is the first and foremost. You have I've had Vietnam and the Philippines and places like that. You know, at the very top. This time, no, it was you know America and South America. Now I love the analytics because it tells me you know where the views come from. But I don't like this new feature, a recent feature I should say called average watch time means like, okay, you may have gotten 5,000 views, but your average watch time total is 220 minutes. And that means people really aren't watching your whole video. Yeah, they're starting it and then they check out, you know, before it ends. And according to this, and even worse, they drill down further and they do average view per click or average view time per click per view and that's real depressing at least for song to the moon it's pretty depressing no one according to this now mind you it says average but according to the stat nobody's watched the whole video they've like checked out at like the 19th second or 20 second mark Whereas with Lovers in a Dangerous World, which, by the way, is cracked into 18,000 and change, so that's now like the number one video of all time for Paul Tate. Got to keep that in perspective. You know, I can't say it's the number one video of all time, but it's not, because Gangram style still is, or I have no idea. Um, so... Now that, no, that uh, view per minute is in, like, people have watched almost all or the whole video. It's, you know. Um, I, I, again, I, I have no way to really um, analyze why, um, why I got 9,000 and a half views in 23 hours and why they were so, like, fast. A lot came from California. I have my cousin out in California, but that that's it. I don't think she sat there and clicked 9,000 times to make it look like I got a lot of, lot of, lot of views. Uh, I don't know. 
it, it, but, but see, you know, when you get drilling down that far, that's when the analytics become depressing. At least for me. Now, I guess for a business, maybe it, it helps them with their marketing strategy. <clears throat> if they've created an ad for their business, and that's in their advertising on YouTube, they can see, well, okay, this ad's working, this ad's not working. Look, people are failing before the ad finishes, so we're not retaining the audience and all that stuff. For me, it's like, yay, 12,000. Crap, no one's watching the whole thing, you know. I don't know why I should be phased by it. Anyway, after this runs its course, which will be probably in another week, um, March we'll see the upload of uh, Run From Home, which is uh, the one and only live. The heck was that? There's no fireworks this time of night or year. Yeah, somebody's car blew up. Whatever. Um... Yeah, you know, so the the live song, live version, I can't say version, this is, it's the only existing version. I wrote Run From Home in 1985. Uh, a friend of mine was having, like, serious marital problems. And um, it wasn't about, I never write about people, but it was inspired by that particular situation, which actually had a happy ending in the end, but at the time I wrote it, it, it didn't look good. Um, but it's on Diligence. It's the last song on disc one. Um, three live songs in a row. In fact, the live version of Pop Musician ha was number one on Spotify for two weeks. As well, and number two was the uh, studio. So it looked like people were checking out one and saying, oh, let's listen to the other. Yeah. So that that's all hunky-dory. And uh, I've again, every week, Pandora, number one. I'm a, I'm a rather top performer. Uh, I think I'm going to be again this week for last week. You know, it's the week prior. So um, 299 new Feed views, they call them. Feed views. I see this bag of feed, you know, on around the bucket around the horse's head, you know, and they're feeding out of it. So I got 229 of those feeds. Second book of poetry is done. Uh, edited everything, went through it. Might go through it again, I don't know. Um, as I said, June would be the publishing of Sand and Ashes, and then the second one, which I'm calling uh, Seven Centers. Now, where that comes from, in case anyone cares, is uh, if you, the concept of energy centers in the, in the body, pretty much from the torso to the head. There are six centers uh, that can also be called chakras. Uh, by those who are really into it all. So there are six chakras, and that energy can be, you know, manipulated and tuned and all that stuff. Well, in this particular poem that I wrote back in 91, I said, I've got seven. I have a secret one. That was the theme of the little poem. I decided to call the whole book Seven Centers. So that, that uh, hopefully will be uh, September. And, uh, you know, that's it, really. You know, um, just, just those um, benchmarks and um, upcoming benchmarks. And what else? That, that, that's, I mean, yeah, no, other than North Life. Cataract surgery is next week. Had the pre-op today. It's annoying nonsense, but it's not nonsense. It's very important stuff. I have to remember to keep to my eyedrop schedule. Like, there's no accounting for my lifestyle. You know, the fact that I don't get up at 6 in the morning or and I don't have a normal day like other people. Yeah. But, hey, I'll make it work.
I made it work last time, but I don't remember them being so, like, very strict about it must be six hours between each eye drops, you know, and, you know, and I said, well, my breakfast and lunch aren't six hours apart. I mean, what does it really, it must be, you know, all right, fine, fine, six hours, Jesus Christ, you know? Um, I think people down here are just stupid. I'm sorry. I think, you know, when it comes to that stuff, they just follow the rules. They look and they read it in the book. The book says, but they don't know. They just read out of a book. And they pass a test. And they become a nurse. Or they become whatever. But they're stupid. I'm sorry. I'm a mass hole from Massachusetts. And that's what I think. Of pretty much everyone I've met down here. Oh, sorry, Floridians. You're not quite up to my speed. So you have a great whatever you're doing. But I don't really.